Hello friends, I am Saket and today I am discussing one schedule network diagram uh, which will help you to do many critical path related questions. I am taking an example of a software development project. So we have a story that we are starting a project with a requirement analysis activity. This uh, activity will take five days and once we are done with the requirement analysis we will move to the development. A development will take 20 days and we are having a finish to start relationship between requirement analysis and development but we will lead the development activities by two days which means that we are using fs minor two relationship so there is a lead of two days once the development is finished so development is including design development testing everything ready product so it will produce a ready product and we have a finish to finish relationship with a user documentation activity so as the development is finishing, we want to finish the user documentation also. So we have made a finish to finish relationship, but we also want that this user documentation should finish two days ahead because at the later stage of the development, we don't expect too much, uh, too many changes on interfaces. So we have made a finish to finish relationship with two days of lead. Along with the user documentation, we also want to start a marketing brochure preparation activity because the final product will also go along with the marketing material. Now marketing team is just looking at user manual team. So whenever the user manual guys will start their work, they also want to start their work. So it's a start to start relationship between uh, marketing team is, is waiting for a trigger to start the user manual work uh, started. And finally, we have a product launch activity which will take five days, which needs all these three things ready. And once these three things are ready, we will just go ahead and launch the product. So let's calculate the early start, early finish, uh, and late start, late finish uh, dates of, of these activities. Now for requirement analysis, we are starting on day one. Since it is taking five days, the finish time is start time, early start, plus duration minus one. So which is like one plus five minus one. So we are finishing on day five. Now, since we are following the FS relationship, the development is expected to start. The early start of this development is based on the maximum of the predecessors. So here in case, in this particular case, only one predecessor is, is there. So it's like five and it should start at the next day so 5 plus 1 since there is a lead of two days we need to take care of that lead minus 2 so the early start comes to 4 5 was the, mac, the, the, the finish time of the predecessor activity plus 1 because we want to start from the next day and minus 2 is there is a two days of uh, lead so we will start on day 4 the development is taking 20 days so we need to calculate the early finish. Early finish here is 4 plus 20 minus 1, which makes it 23. Early start plus duration minus 1. So this is 23. Now since this particular activity is finishing on day 23, it is having a finish to finish relationship. So this should also finish on 23 plus minus lead lag. So 23 since the lead is minus 2, this activity should finish on day 21. Now here we have early finish time. Now this activity was having constraint which was linked with the finish time. So in order to calculate the early start, we need to, back, we need to follow the backward pass even to calculate the early start. So early start would be duration is 3, 21 minus 3 plus 1 because we are going back so it will be 19 so on the day 19 this activity should is, is expected to start now since the marketing brochure is just waiting for a user manual work to start it is having the start to start relationship no lead and lack it will finish start on the day 19 since it's a four days activities so 19 plus 4 minus 1 comes to 22 so this activity will finish on day 22 now finally the product launch i need to is dependent on abc uh, these three development user documentation and marketing brochure out of this maximum is 23 
So the start date of product launch is 23 plus 1, which makes it 24. Since the duration of product launch is 5 days, so 24 plus 5 minus 1 makes it 28. So early finish of the product launch is day 28. Now by doing this, we have calculated the early start and early finish of all these activities. In order to calculate late finish and late start, we just need to do the backward pass. So we copy these activities 28 because because for the last activity the early finish and late finish is the same now here we go back and all these three activities must finish by day 23 because then only I can start the the product launch activity on day 24 so my late finish minus one could be the late finish of my predecessor activity. So successor activities late finish minus one is a, a late finish of all the predecessor activities. So these activities should finish by day 23. Now if you go uh, reverse, so you can calculate the late start date of, of this particular activity. How do you do that? Since it's a 23 three is a late finish minus 4 plus 1 which makes it 20 so it can start on day 20 by the same logic we can calculate the the early late start of user documentation so it is like 23 minus 3 plus 1 which makes it 21 now if we go to the top activities 23 minus 20 plus 1 makes it again 4 because they are critical path activities so there the late start and late finish is going to be the uh, late start and early finish is going to be the same so we can just copy these things here because it's a critical path activity is, is without uh, uh, slack now you can visualize that marketing brochure has one day slack and the user documentation is having two days slack. How I calculated these slacks? The difference between early start and late start or the difference between early finish and late finish is coming to two. So if this activity get delayed by two days, it will not impact the overall project. If the marketing brochure get delayed by one day, it will not impact the overall project because we have a slack for these two activities. So requirement, development, product launch, these three activities constitutes the critical path because this is the longest path and the duration of this path is 28 days. So we can finish the project on day 28. So this is, uh, was a small example uh, for explaining three type of relationship, finish to start, start to start and finish to finish using uh, some kind of a practical example which you can relate with. If you have any follow-up query related to critical path or anything uh, on project management or PMP certification, please visit our forum forum.eisenbridge.com and let us know. We will try to help you out at the shortest possible time. Thanks for watching this video.